Hello, one man. It's Fox Nine. So they get name it Fox. Um, I want to do this quick. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm sick. Uh, and it's been acting with my eyes, so hence the glasses and my contacts. But uh, I want to do a quick reaction video. Uh, guys told me about this, and I saw a little bit of the trailer, but I stopped because I wanted to do a reaction to it. But um, there's a game series or a series that came out way before Sword Art Online ever did. It was, I think, probably one of the first uh, shows to ever think of do the whole MMO RPG that could kill you type scenario. And honestly, this is still probably one of my favorites. Even though, even like this isn't even like the first story in that series, but they're remastering it, and I kind of thought, fudge, yeah, it's dot hack. It's dot hack. This was the first MMO type of game, and also, I believe the first thing that got me kind of this is one of the things that kind of got me. I think into MMOs a little bit in different games like this because uh so I'm just checking it to make sure OBS is working but uh this is probably one of the first games that really got me into stuff like that this and ATT aka now known as Tome uh thank you Kerbifer but uh this is a series that I extremely enjoy and this is also a rare type of game like trying to find this for the PS2 is extremely rare I am surprised I actually got the first volume but I can never get the other two. And it turns out they're going to release all of them. And I want to do a quick review or quick reaction to the trailer and see how it goes. Uh, let's begin. Three, two, one. Series hack. 15th anniversary. Ooh, 15. I finally found him. And here of all places. The guy who first got me into the world. Ovan. Dad! <laughs> I always love this goddamn series. That had large-scale cross-media project based off of a fictitious online RPG. With both an expansive story and world around games, anime, manga, and several other medias. Yup, there's a lot of it. Cross-media project's deep story. Yeah, engraved in the hearts of users across the world. I've been engraved in the hearts of users. Okay. This was the first sort of online. 15th anniversary, the birth of the first project. Second series. Yep. Fudge, yeah. This was this was my favorite. Haseo was like my favorite dot hack character. And like, there's like interconnection between the stories, all of them. The world's largest network RPG, the world. And like they're rematching, I'm so happy. Virtual world cannot become the utopia of Haseo. For revenge to save the ones he loves. Haseo strives for more power. And the edge is coming here. The journey for power begins. I'm gonna get Shino back. Try edge. Haseo, your character hides something. There is a dangerous power inside you. I use you. whatever powers Stop I have right to their full extent. Oh god, I'm getting goosebumps. I freaking remember playing the first game. Bonds with friends become stronger. Is this a really bad dream or something? What in the world are they? They took out Ida? Alright, now give us back. I couldn't save her either. The truth that you have been searching for. Seo draws near to the I'm truth of the world. I'm going to bury you here. I won't run from this. Isn't Taihaku the same as me? I will get her back. To be. Oh God, this looks so awesome. You've gotten quite strong. You are not special. I told myself I was going to see everything through to the end. I am right here. Ooh, new mechanics? Cheat mode. What does cheat mode do? Oh, wait. God dang it. Hold on. Crap. Uh, 250 on the thing. Cheat mode. System users who played Die GU would like to simply enjoy the story. Ah, oh, boo! Let's begin the game with max stats. Boo! 
Retry system, melee adjustments that have been made in the battle balance tempo will support non stress gameplay. Okay. Coming back to life in new modifications and improvements. Game that transcends thought. It's time. All of the feelings that I've carved deep into the world are going into this one attack! And now? Hang in there, Ovan. I'll find a way to break you out of that ice. Really? Holy crap! I need to get that power back. The power to get you out of there. It's actually not that bad graph for that either. I have a favor to ask. The last promise that could be fulfilled. There's someone desperate to see you. I'll get you out of there. Oh god, I want to play this game. That's a promise. Cuz I want to get to that. Haseo. This is your new power. Oh god. Past, present, future. Resurrected. I want I hope they're all in like one thing. If I have to pay a hundred dollars to get this, I will pay a hundred dollars to get this. Maybe I'll even do a left play. I don't effing know. Ooh, November 3rd, that's not too far away. That's in two months? I have friggin' New episode volume connection. Movie. How much? How much? Is it going to say how much? Oh, all that in one? Okay. See, one, game, again, like if I see any dot, if I see any MMORPG type of game or story that's like, it takes place in an MMO kind of thing, I always immediately go back to dot hack. Dot hack is one of my, is one of my favorites. It's, the MMO type it's set, Kingdom Hearts one is one of my highest favorite franchises, but this is one of my favorites as well because this show. What I really like, what I like about this is it's ex one. It's an expansive story, and things connect from one series to another. Where one character is playing another MMO character in this in the first series or third series, which is the first series. And then that will link back to the second series or stuff like that. Or like um, that creature that Haseo transforms into, Skeet. Uh, technically, I think it's, it's like, it's kind of like a Gundam, I guess. Um, like that is actually a virus that killed the friend or put, or put a guy into a coma in the first series of the game. Of like uh, the thing, because there's different series. There's Haseo stories, Kite story... That one dude with the staff story. And even then, like, there are animes that connect all of these. Which, funny enough, I actually, while not knowing it, I watch these all in order. I watch GU kind of in order. Watching the anime first, which gives Haseo's backstory on why he becomes what he is in the beginning of the game. To then play the game only to get the first volume. But this looks so good. Hold on, let me just double check this real quick. Hold on, that works. But this looks so good. The graphics look well done. And again, I like... I do like high-definition kind of anime-looking style. Like, even though, like, this, these do kind of look so, like a little bit closer to their PS... Their PS2 uh, battles. But, like, you know, it's finished. It's well done. Way better. Because I'm just replaying Kingdom Hearts... Well, I'm just playing Kingdom Hearts 3D because, like, I wanted to play some Kingdom Hearts... And, like, I was looking, I'm like, god dang, I love this art series. And the thing is, like, cartoony style, I think I prefer more. Not not just anime. Cartoony style in general, <coughs> or stylized stuff, I prefer more in games than realistic all the time. Don't get me wrong. When a game is realistic, 
I do I do enjoy them. I do enjoy games like that. But if let's say you take Final Fantasy 15 and you take Kingdom Hearts and put those two together, yeah, Final Fantasy 15 has an open world, um, and it is it is somewhat fun. But in the end, it's just like okay, wow, it looks like outside. I should just go outside. Uh, <laughs> but something like Kingdom Hearts, they take me to a town, even if it's not open world, it's like, it's well, 3D is pseudo, which I still prefer. It's like, you have these, off, you walking around Traverse Town, the freaking, like, art style, everything makes it look so much better, the characters looking more anime style, and stuff like that. Or again, Assassin's Creed, how I said, adding a little bit of, adding some Assassin's Creed to Final Fantasy XV, Adding a little bit of anime into Assassin's Creed would probably be a lot better. It gives it a little bit more style to it. A little bit more oomph to that. And I, that's what I kind of like about this. And again, this is one of my favorite series. I have the manga series for Dot Hack GU. I've seen the anime for Dot Hack GU. And again, I... What is it? Did I play... I played the first game. Because each of these games was always like a three set game it was kite story i believe had three sets i can't remember what and another cool thing about it back then which i wish they did more stuff like this now like ps2 like i had the very first game of um dot hack of dot hack the first game with kite and you can and it's kind of like the whole link thing where you can name them i i'm, I'm sorry i'm just going off rambling about this point but like you can name the characters and like i named my character kite well, mine, Foxer. Um, I knew that. But the thing is, then when I play GU and, like, oh, it's called Azure Kite comes back, he has my name because I was using the same. You, you had the name Foxer over his head. I'm like, holy crap. Like, things like that were what made this game so cool. Like, knowing, like, each one, each story is connected to each other as well as being that they're. As well as saying, like, yeah, you kind of, you were part of this world. And you even come back in this world. Even if you're playing as a different character. And it's just so cool. And, again, like, the whole things, like, certain things, like, the the cathedral that's in there. I think it's, like, Hidden Valley Cathedral. Forgotten Hidden Valley. Forgotten Hidden Valley. I think that was the three keywords. You need keywords to teleport in this game. And you could go... Couldn't save her either. Well, Forbidden Hidden Valley. Uh, the series is just like you to go to these different worlds, and this is just so. Odd. I hope they. I hope this does well once. So that way they can make remake all of them because I want to replay as Kite Story. But yeah, like I'm happy this is the one because this is the character that everyone. This is the this is the Cloud Strife of Dot Hack. I think. Haseo is basically the cloud strike of dot hack, which honestly, do you know, make some sense? Because in the second, towards the end of the first game, you get a Buster Sword, but it's a chainsaw. Yeah, step over Nero. Haseo did it first. Um, and in, again, like he has all Sasuke hair, but this was my, this was my, this is like my favorite dot hack game, and I can't wait to play this again. One better graphics, of course. But also, I just want to play more. I just want to play it, and I want to beat it to the end. I want to play the game all the time. Maybe I'll make a Let's Play of this one. I don't freaking know. But this is awesome. And they're going to have another episode right after it, which, fudge, yeah, I want to see what's going to happen with that. And I want to get to this part, where you get this form, because I have not gotten that form. Haseo gets new abilities as you progress through the game, and you get new forms. And it's just Super Saiyan type shtick to me, always. And I'm just like... Fudge, yes, I want to do this. And I want to get to this form. It's the form where he goes all out and just... Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This game looks so goddamn fun. I can't wait to play it all. Play a sales story from beginning to end and see what the fudge is going to happen next. By the way, guy I think we'll end this here. First got me into the world. That was... Ovan. I can't wait. By the way... Tell me what you guys in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure because I've done links are on my face. Subscription buttons are around there somewhere. Just thank you so much for watching. Tell me if you guys are going to play this. But yeah, this looks great. It looks awesome. I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching. Please go the videos. And we will. See you later.